This is Motobur, I'm Tushar and this is another day, another buffet. This time around we were at the lunch, I mean launch of the Mercedes S-Class in Delhi. Now the thing with the new S-Class is that while it is new, it's basically a facelift and the reason it's a facelift is because you need to have a whole bunch of things in a new vehicle if you want to actually sell it. But the primary talking point in the new S-Class is the new diesel engine. There are a whole bunch of other talking points, I've actually taken notes, amazingly professional. Uh, but the main talking point with the new S-Class is the diesel engine, which they are claiming is actually BS6 compliant, even though we're still on BS4 fuel and you know the whole petrol pump and the whole infrastructure is still BS4. So the amazing thing about this car is that it's BS6 compliant two years in advance, but it can also use BS4 fuel, which is what we're using every day. So you fill in BS4 diesel and it will still work and it will still be cleaner than a typical current generation BS4 diesel car of that class and of course uh, going forward you're going to have a BS6 compliant car. Uh, apart from that of course that's not going to be enough for uh, people to buy this car uh, just like that so you've got a basic facelift. The face has uh, actually changed you've got the multi-beam LEDs which is something that pretty much everybody has these days started with Audi which uh, they call matrix LEDs. So in the S-Class, it's called the multi-beam LED system. I believe it's uh, 84 individual LEDs. You can't actually see 84 individual LEDs in the headlamps, but they, they look pretty fancy. You've got the whole DRLs and the multi-segments and the projector headlamps. Looks good. Uh, then, of course, you've got the 9G Tronic, new 9-speed transmission, which is, I'm sure, very smooth. We've used it in um, some of the other cars, and it is very, very slick and smooth. For India, you have airmatic suspension, which I think is absolutely critical in luxury cars, pretty much across the board. I think all luxury cars, if you're calling them luxury cars, should come with airmatic suspension or at least some kind of automatic damper control. We know that the S-Class has got incredibly plush uh, suspension, so I'm sure the airmatic suspension is going to continue uh, in that regard. The new steering wheel on the S-Class is something we haven't seen before on Mercedes and I can't say I'm entirely happy with the whole change. Mercedes was one of the first early movers in the whole capacitive touch kind of scene. To date in the S-Class what they have is a jog dial as well as like a, a Cobra hood sort of thing which is a touch uh, sensitive panel which you can use to uh, navigate the menu system and things like that. They've taken sort of tentative conservative steps towards touch controls with the steering wheel. What you can see is actually there are two little nubbins which appear to be capacitive touch panels on the steering wheel with which you can manipulate various things uh, in, in the screens. It, you still have those two giant screens, no real uh, instrument cluster as such. You've got one for the driver binnacle and you've got one for the uh, rest of the car. So you've got these two little nubbins which are capacitive touch uh, compatible, but I'm actually happy that they've maintained a whole bunch of physical controls on the steering wheel as well, because I think personally tactile feedback while you're driving is better than having to look at a menu uh, while you're driving. So I think capacitive is going in that direction that I'm not too happy with, but this one is a bit of a compromise. Uh, what isn't a compromise, however, is the ambient LED lighting system, which uses or can use 64 different colors of lighting. So red, green, blue, violet, all colors of the rainbow are available to you and your lack of taste. This is an S-Class, so naturally the rear seating is going to be extremely important, critical in fact. Now this is not a Maybach. The, the Maybach series, which is a step above the S-Class, has absolute business class level seating at the back. This one is a little bit of a step down, but it does still have hot stone massage. It's got reclining seats. The seats, I believe, according to my notes, go 43 and a half degrees uh, uh, in recline. And of course, there's the massage function. There are temperature controlled cup holders because Saab ka coffee garam hona mangta bhai. There are wireless chargers for your phone based on the Qi standard. Uh, this is available in the front center console as well as the back. Uh, if you have an iPhone 8 or a 10 or uh, any of the recent Android phones that use the Qi standard, you basically just take the phone and put it in the tray and it starts charging. I think that's a really good uh, option to have. Important for India, Mercedes is including radar-based driver assistance uh, systems. There's an entire package that includes distance assist up to 210 kilometers per hour. So basically, the car will automatically help you not crash into the car in front of you up to 210 kilometers per hour. 
If you're doing that, you're insane, please don't do that. There's lane assist with active steer, which essentially means that the car uh, using its variety of cameras and sensors is actually looking at the road, figuring out what the lane markings are and is going to be helping the car stay in the lane. So if you start straying from the lane, you'll get a little bit of a, a judder on the steering wheel to sort of notify you. There, there might be a beep also, I'm not so too sure about that, but it actually has an autonomous steering system. So basically, if you're, if you're straying out uh, of the lane for whatever reason, the car is able to actually pull you back in, which is really good. Uh, there's also blind spot assist in your ORVM. There's actually a notification. So if there is somebody entering your blind spot and you haven't seen him yet, there's a bit of an, uh, a visual flash to uh, let you know. Nice safety features and all this is available thanks to uh, the slight deregulation of radar-based uh, driver assistance systems in India. Apart from that, of course, you've got the standard accoutrement. I think the car that we saw at the launch had this white or off-white leather upholstery. Looks really nice, looks very, very uh, plush and rich. The steering wheel certainly is a little bit more sporty feeling, not, not, uh, not, not so much, not so baroque. I think the word would be, it's not so baroque, it's a little bit more car-like. Of course, there is the panoramic uh, sunroof that's still around and that is available. Alloy wheels, not so uh, hot. Nowadays, uh, a lot of uh, luxury manufacturers are tending to go a little bit more racy with the alloy wheels. Mercedes is still keeping it a little bit uh, conservative. Available in two engine options, you've got the 350D, which is the diesel, the BS6, that is making 286 horsepower. 600 newton meters of torque, 0 to 106 seconds, and uh, top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. You can also get uh, the 450, which is a petrol, it's a V6 petrol, 367 horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque, so a little bit less, 0 to 105.1 seconds, still faster, and top speed still 250 kilometers per hour. The 350D is available at 1.33 crore X showroom and the 450 is 1.37 crore uh, X showroom. Uh, both of these cars uh, come with uh, or are available with Mercedes's two-year uh, service package. So the petrol is actually 80,000 bucks and the diesel is 130,000, 1.3 lakh rupees, uh, which actually compares really well. I'm sure uh, you can name a few uh, European not, not necessarily luxury cars that might cost a little bit more to maintain. So uh, kudos to Mercedes uh, for doing that. We wish we had some more uh, images for uh, the buffet uh, to show you, but uh, I was too busy shooting the B-roll. So uh, hopefully next time. Uh, this has been another day, another buffet. And uh, like, subscribe, uh, or don't. <laughs>